Welcome back friends. I have a very exciting video for you guys today. Uh, we have a problem and hopefully a clever solution. So Mrs. W, bless her, loves to mow with the John Deere riding lawnmower and she gets it stuck in some very strange places. I'm not sure exactly what she was all about here, but as you can see, the, the little 300 is uh, stuck down in uh, at the base of the Rock and Root Bridge. So, uh, some weeks back, I was looking for a solution uh, for dirt bike retrieval gear. So, I came across this. These, I believe, the, if I remember right, these clever guys up in Idaho uh, that ride in some pretty extreme areas and regularly dump their bikes off of... Uh, steep precipices uh, needed a solution to get their bikes back up because they're heavy. You're talking, you know, 250, 275 pounds. When it's down in a scree field, it's almost impossible to get out. So they put together an ultra lightweight, super compact mechanical advantage in a bag that you can put in your backpack. So I have been carrying, <coughs> ooh, I've been carrying uh, this in my pack for some time and I've been looking for an opportunity to use it. And this is a perfect example. This mower is heavy. This is pretty steep right here. It won't get itself out. So I thought, let's set this up and see if indeed it does work. So let's take a quick look at the kit and then we'll set the rigging and see if we can get this thing unstuck by hand the old school way. So this is the kit. It comes in this really nice little red bag with the straps. I like it. And it's an ultra lightweight, I guess, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, uh, it's it's basically the you know the old term was a snatch block. This is a double pulley system uh, made out of some really high end climbing gear with a hundred feet of uh, static means no flex. When you're doing this type of rigging or rappelling or such, you don't want a stretchy rope because a rope, some of those climbing ropes can stretch up to 20% of their length and you waste a ton of energy with that, which is good for a fall if you're doing lead climbing and stuff, but not so good for rigging. So 100 foot of six millimeter rope, two locking fall rated beaners, and two double pulleys right there you can see which is are going to give us a mechanical advantage so as we know you've seen pictures back in the old days of guys that would actually pull stumps with a with, with a system similar to this and the more pulleys you add you know the more you double your essentially double your pulling strength so the cool thing about this is that it is self-locking with a prussix this is a little prussix the red rope right there so when you pull and let go this will essentially lock the rope so you can get another and get another pole on it. So it's a very lightweight system. It weighs almost nothing. And they boast that it can pull, I think, four times the weight a common man or a normal man could pull. So let's rig this on the mower and see if we can get that thing out of here. So the first thing you want to set to rig is, is you need an anchor point. So what we have here is we have a, uh, a tree that's about 35 feet away. And this, you know, when you're working in the forest and doing retrieval, uh, this is super, there's almost always a tree uh, that you can uh, hook to, you know, to, to get a purchase point on. Now, if you're in the sand or you're in the desert, um, maybe I'll show you how to do that someday. Uh, you can use a um, kind of a dead man or there's different ways that you can use sticks uh, to anchor things in. But um, this is going to do for today. So we're going to pull, you know, as we pull, we want to pull downhill. It gives us more strength. So when the rope is coming out, we'll just lock this on to the webbing here, and that'll set our first anchor, and then we can play this out here, uh, and we'll hook it to the back of the mower. All right, so we ran into a bit of a snag. We're learning by doing here. So what uh, I realized, since we have four lengths of rope, that this is a 100 footer, uh, that means that we only have, well, we have 25 feet from our anchor that we can pull because we have the rope is folded in half twice. So I'm, about four feet shy of the mower. So let me have to, we'll grab one of these closer trees right here. And so the theory is, is that yes, 25 feet is not a long ways to pull, especially if you're 75, 100 feet down off of a trail. What you're counting on is that there are trees all over the place and you'll have to kind of incrementally go, come up. So it's not a super fast process, uh, but uh, it is effective. So let me move this anchor over to a closer anchor and then we'll, uh, we'll start the rigging. So at the top side anchor to the tree, then we'll anchor this to our load. If we pull that, that'll take it out of gear. Now we should be able to pull up the slack and see how strong this thing is and how much it can pull. 
So everything's rigged. Here's what it should look like. We've got the, of course, we've got the beaner on the back of the load. I'm making sure that nothing is, the ropes are not twisted up. And then we have uh, the top section and you can see this is the haul line right here. So this is what we're gonna pull. And as we pull, the rope will slip through that prussics. And as we release, the prussics will bite and this is the prussics, the red part, will bite on there and hold the load so we can reposition and get another grip. So let's set up the camera and see, uh, we don't have to move it too far, it's just high centered on the mowing deck. And of course, here's the problem, she's run aground. So again, as I mentioned before, when you're using this side of sort of a system, make sure you orient it so you can pull down, so you can use gravity uh, to help you. If you have to pull uphill, it's, it's harder, especially if you're on loose rock and you can't get traction. So if I just haul on this, I'm probably pulling, I don't know, probably maybe a hundred pounds. It's quite simply pulling the mower up where I couldn't push it before, it was too heavy. Take special note how the Prussics works here. This I think is the, cl is the really clever design right here because if we were to pull and it, see how it slides through the prussics and as soon as we release pressure it goes back and it bites and locks on there It's it's very simple very old design, but very effective. We can pull it simply slides through we can rest We can reposition we can pull it never binds it slides I like that they use different colors It just kind of helps to identify things and you can so it's not confusing because when you pull it out of the bag You know you got a bunch of ropes and stuff going on, but very simple now that it's off I mean, it's taking almost no effort to move the mower. And that's it. Very, 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 very good design. It works great. You might need to have, you have a, something really heavy, you might need to have a couple guys on it. And one thing that you can do to get more pulling power is you can find a heavy stick that won't break and you can do a half hitch around it and then you have a, kind of a T-handle pull. That helps too. So if she's going to keep coming down here, I might have to install a winch on her lawn mower. That would be a first. So that's all there is to it. I have to say I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, it worked really well. It was kind of cool to walk down here with a, a little bag that weighs a pound and a half or so and retrieve the lawnmower uh, without a bunch of winches and equipment. I mean, sometimes the, sometimes the simple things are just simpler. And I have a ride back. I don't have to walk back. So uh, uh, if you're interested in these, this is not, uh, I, I'm not affiliated. This is not a paid endorsement. It was just something I found I purchased with my own money, but Cascade Rescue uh, sold this. It was it was right around $100 or so. Uh, but I, I did see that some of those adventure bike guys, you know, their bikes are so heavy uh, that if they dump it down, that, you know, if you're an older guy or a smaller person, you can't lift the thing up and they'll carry these things to actually get the bike back up on its wheels. So um, I thought that was kind of interesting. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.